Uh, sir, does excessive femoral antiversion and trochlear dysplasia exist together or is that correlated somewhere and only derotation will take care of subtle trochlear dysplasia? Uh, the shorter answer to that is yes, it is, but ver version can happen anywhere along the entire length of the femur. So sometimes version should be addressed more proximally. Many of the patients that I'm dealing with, many of these patients are, uh, these patellofemoral patients, there's a high correlation with, uh, with dysplasia, trochlear dysplasia, distal femoral dysplasia, and, 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 version, and increased antiversion. But it, it, can happen, it can happen anywhere along the, the length of the, of the femur. But it, do, it does correlate. You know what I love to talk about femoral version with patellofemoral instability? Uh, because most knee surgeons in the US don't know how to examine hip. I'm, I'm, I do half hip, half knee, a hip preservation. Um, but this audience, you guys are knee surgeons, you do half sports, half total knees. And I would say, do you externally rotate your femoral component? Right? Why? You're bringing your, your trochlea to your patella. Yeah. Right? Yeah. That's addressing version for a patellofemoral instability patient. It's the same exact thing. One of them is doing it with a cut, a bony cut, and one of them is doing it with an implant.